it's Megan. Um, can you tell anything different? I decided to do straight across bangs and you guys have never seen me with full bangs before. I used to get like I used to go in between like straight bangs and then like my side part like you guys have always seen me with. Um, but I haven't had straight across bangs in years, not since my freshman year of college. So um, I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and um, I just never wanted to do it because I was just like psyching myself out about it. Like there's so much more high maintenance than a side part, which is like the way my hair naturally wants to go. Um, but um, yesterday I watched Amber F's video, her um, project, her pan that palette update and she had this beautiful short bob and um it just pushed me over the edge to finally do something more fun to my hair so i have it pulled back because i have it half back i don't know i like how my hair looks with bangs pulled up like either halfway or like in a ponytail um and i did my mom cuts my hair um so she gave me the straight across bangs and i like having like little pieces down here and then she cut a little bit off of the length of my hair so um you'll have to let me know <laughs> i'm like trying to get more into hair i know absolutely nothing about hair um i've been watching tutorials on like how to like style bangs and stuff and i just had to stop messing with them because i think i was making it worse so they're just all kind of crazy right now and I'm trying not to look at myself in the mirror too much because it'll just make me want to like try to make them look better but right now I think they actually look good. They look different in the camera. Um, like on the viewfinder they look more like PC but in real life they look nice and so no one has seen my hair besides my family so I'm freaked out what my coworkers are going to think tonight and um, I don't know I'm just excited but like I haven't had my hair like this in so long it's like weird to see myself with this haircut um but my hair grows really fast so if I hate it next week I won't have to wait much longer to be able to push it all to the side so um yeah let me know what you guys think if you hate it please don't be that mean um you know it's just hair and it's kind of fun and I feel like from um Gossip Girl Jenny Humphrey um when she did like the rocker like stage in her life when she had the stray across bangs and like the crazy hair and um I don't know I just think I needed a change and I'm happy about it so that's that just obviously had to get that out of the way because it would be pretty obvious that something had changed and um it would be weird if I didn't mention it so that is that and speaking of Amber F, I am doing her solo Mio tag and I had seen like many people do this tag in our little community, but I never, like some tags I just never like watch or like pay attention to. Like usually when it's a tag video, I don't even watch it. I don't know why, it's just a weird thing. But I watched Anna's yesterday, she did um, this tag and I really loved the questions and then um, Amber F actually created it so I watched her original video just to hear like what her thoughts were behind like the questions. I really like hearing like the original creator of a tag like explain why or what they meant for certain questions or like what they like were thinking when they created it and stuff and so it really made me want to do this tag. So. Basically, it's about what you like to do when you're alone or like different things that you like to do if you're by yourself. And I, I love being by myself. I think not everyone likes that. I have friends that literally can never be alone and I just don't understand that. I love being alone and I know that that sounds like depressing sort of, but I just love like having my independence and just being able to enjoy my time even if no one else is with me. And I think that that's like a big thing that you learn as you grow up. Like you have to have like fun with yourself and you have to be happy by yourself because like you're all you have. Like you will have yourself forever so why not like enjoy your time by yourself. So I just love being by myself. It's amazing and so um I am really excited about this tag. So there are seven questions, have them written down on a piece of paper, so let's get to it. Number one, what is your favorite activity you like to do when you have a moment to yourself? So I love the 
things that I love the most to do by myself are shop and watch TV, like binge watch shows. So shopping, oh, there's just something amazing about being able to leisurely shop by yourself. You don't have to like do what the other person wants to do and you can like spend as much or as little time in different sections and you can just walk slowly and you have like no cares in the world and I just love that. That is like one of my favorite favorite things and um, especially in like a Target or like Marshalls. Oh my god Marshalls. I could spend hours there just going down every aisle and like going back around the store and stuff. I just love shopping by myself so that is definitely one of my favorite things to do. And then binge watch TV shows. I spent so much time in college just watching TV shows by myself in my bed, cuddled up, no one bothering me. I just loved it. I never watched like binge watched shows before college and now I can't imagine not doing it. Like it's just it's so me like I just love it so much so um shopping and binge, binge watching tv shows are like my two absolute favorite things to do by myself especially with tv shows like when you're by yourself you can react how you want to you can like just see it how you want to see it you don't have like other perspectives which I like having like people's perspectives when I'm watching like stuff sometimes but mostly I just want it to be like about what I think <laughs> and I know that's really self-centered maybe other people can like let me know if they're like that but um I don't know I just like seeing it through my perspective and just enjoying it that way so yeah okay number two talk about books you'd recommend that you're currently that you recently read or are currently reading so I really haven't read a book from start to finish in a really long time um I just haven't. I don't really know why I'll start a book, get halfway or so through it, and just not finish it. The last books that I read completely were all by John Green. I'm obsessed with him. I think that he is an amazing writer and it's just like easy easy to read books. So if you're a young adult, if you're an adult, whoever you are, girl or guy, I think you would love John Green's books. Um, I especially love Looking for Alaska. Oh my god, so good. Um, I'm about halfway done with Paper Towns. I still haven't finished that. I've been working on that since like the summer. It's like ridiculous. Um, and The Fulton Our Stars. Those are the three that I've read by him. All three are amazing and like I said they're the only ones that I've completely read to, from start to finish recently. But two of my favorite favorite books that I would love to rec recommend to you guys are The History of Love by Nicole Krauss. That is my all-time favorite fiction book. It is so beautiful. I've reread it so many times and I get something new out of it every single time. Um, if you like like sort of artistic writing, um, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but I think a lot of you guys would appreciate it who are into like artsier things or like kind of I don't know, more serious books. It's not like a serious topic. It's about love. And um, so it's a really different take on a love story. And I love it. There's no other words to describe it other than I love it. And it's amazing. And Nicole Krauss is amazing. And um, it's just so cool because there's different perspectives all throughout the novel. Like different chapters are different perspectives of people, but it's all the same story. And oh, I just love it and I don't have it because I've given my copy I think I gave my copy to Sam and then I sent Tina a copy that I bought so I don't have a copy for myself but I just love to share that book with anyone who will listen and if you guys have read it or end up reading it let me know what you think because oh, it's just amazing I've loved it ever since high school so that's one of that's my all-time favorite book and then a book that I read and um I think junior year of college was Mindy Cowling's autobiography is everyone having fun without me and other concerns or it's called something like that I'll have this all typed down below um, but Mindy Cowling I swear she's like my spirit animal I love her so much I think she's so funny and cute and charming and beautiful and wonderful and powerful and just everything that is awesome that's how I see Mindy Cowling and her autobiography is truly a treat to read. You get to like know her better as a person and 
I just appreciate her even more after reading it. So if you want a funny book, an autobiography, if you love Mindy Kaling, you have to read it. It's amazing. Okay. Number three, favorite treat to enjoy during a moment to yourself. So I have two current things that I really have been enjoying like snack wise. I'm a big snacker. Like basically I eat a little bit like for meals, but then mostly I like snack, which is really bad, but that's just how I am. Um, so my two favorite junk food snacks are the, um, Snickers Rockin' Nut Road. I showed you guys them before. Um, I don't have one now cause I ate them all. Um, <laughs> but they're so amazing. If you love Snickers, you will love this Rockin' Nut Road Snickers bar. I don't know where you can buy it other than we have it at Bed Bath & Beyond. Like we have a whole candy section up near the um, customer service section and that is the only place I've ever seen this candy bar. So I have literally bought like 20 and spent way too much money on these stupid candy bars but I cannot stop and I've gotten like almost everyone at the store addicted to them. It's like ridiculous. There's like marshmallow, the nougat is flavored like marshmallow. It's dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate and um, I think it's almonds instead of like the chopped up little nuts. It is insane, it is amazing, it is indulgent, and I have one every few days, and I just can't stop with it. So, Snickers, Rockin' Nut Road, and then I have always been a blue Doritos girl. I've always loved the Cool Ranch Doritos, they've always been superior in my mind to the nacho cheese, but recently, the red nacho cheese Doritos have just stolen my heart. Like I am so passionately in love with the nacho cheese Doritos. It is like weird. I just love them so, so much. So um, those have been my two recent obsessions over the past like month and a half or so. And oh, I can't stop. I just can't stop. Okay. Number four, favorite beauty products you reach for. And Amber F. said that she intended this question to be very open-ended. So um, when I heard that question and when it's like that you reach for like to like spend time with yourself, I thought of skincare. And I do, I love to do my skincare every single night. It's like one of my favorite things. I used to not always enjoy doing a skincare routine at night. I thought it was boring, but now I really, really love it. But when I have extra time to myself, so if I'm not working a night shift or if it's like a weekend and I just have extra time, I love using pampering skincare. So first I'll usually use this combination for cleanser. I'll use the Super Facialist by Una Brennan um, facial oil. This bottle is the Rose Hydrate, but I have the vitamin C oil in here, but basically just a luxurious cleansing oil I will use to remove all my makeup and it just feels wonderful and you can kind of do a facial massage. Um, so I use that first. And then I'll use the Rodeal Stem Cell Superfood Cleanser, which is ultra nourishing. And it's like a really thick, luxurious, lush, amazing cream cleanser that just makes your skin feel so hydrated and so loved and amazing. And these two things, because they're both so hydrating, I just feel so pampered when I use it. So I usually always do um, those two. And then I'll do a mask or a treatment. So I have three that are noteworthy that I wanted to share with you guys. The Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel Pads. These are the extra strength formula. They're currently a 100 point perk from Sephora. It comes with three of the pack, three of the peels. Um, so the Dr. Dennis Gross Pads, I really love to do every now and then. Um, I don't always use these on a extra pampering night or just when I need um, some nice deep exfoliation. So these are amazing. And my two favorite masks to use to really make my skin feel amazing are the Bliss Multifaceted All-in-One Anti-Aging Clay Mask. And um, this is my second sample I've had of this. I adore it. I cannot wait to purchase it. It is amazing. It smells so wonderful, like peppermint. So it just feels wonderful. I love it and my skin loves it. And then the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment is also one of my favorites. So um, I'll use one of these masks and just 
clarify my skin and it just feels wonderful. And then I will use a beautiful oil on top of it. And I especially love the Pi Rosehip by Regenerate Oil. This is amazing for hydrating your skin, giving you that wonderful, plump, gorgeous, glowing skin. Um, I love it and I would use this as well as the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate if they had if I had it right now but um, I've been using the pie for like these nice like treatment nights and then if I really want to step up my game so I'll do the rosehip oil and then I'll put my moisturizer and if I want to really lock everything in I use the Dr. Jart Water, Water Max Sleeping Mask. Could they have made a more tongue twistery name? So this is like a final step to like lock everything in. And it's just, it's not a super heavy sleeping mask. Like you, I don't know, I would have thought that it's like a really heavy cream or something. It's like a thin gelish cream. It's lovely. And so I'll just do all those steps. My skin will feel wonderful. It'll be like glowy and hydrated, but like clear because of the mask or the treatment. And... Oh, I just love it. Just talking about it makes me so excited. So that's what I do. Those are the beauty products I reach for when I have an extra time to myself. Okay, number five. If you could do whatever you wanted by yourself for a whole day and money was no object, what would you do? So I wrote down, I of course like brainstormed answers for this, and I said that I would love to go on a shopping spree at Marshalls because that's just what I love to do. Um, I just love to like go out by myself, go shopping. Having a shopping spree would be amazing because I wouldn't have to stop myself from like I wouldn't have to put back a bunch of things because I always like gather so many things and I have to put away so many because it's not a good idea to spend that much money every week, but um, I would love to do that. But I would also really like to travel, and I know that one day isn't a lot of time, so I don't know where I would go, but I kind of think that it would be fun to like travel somewhere by yourself, because it would be kind of scary, but really nice, because similar to shopping, traveling by yourself, you could do exactly what you wanted to do. You could spend the exact amount of time that you wanted to at each, like, tourist destination or like restaurant or whatever and I just think that would be kind of fun and it would push me out of my comfort zone a little bit. I've always wanted to like go to dinner by myself or like the movies but it kind of freaks me out. I don't know why. I guess like when I see people by themselves at places like that I like feel bad for them and I don't want people to feel bad for me. <laughs> so I don't know have any of you guys went to dinner by yourself or a movie by yourself just because you wanted to. I don't know if that's like a weird thing to want to do but um yeah, I think I will. I just need to push myself to do it and not feel like self-conscious about what other people think because I, that's so silly. Like that is so high school. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I would do. I think traveling that would be cool. I don't know where I would go, but somewhere fun. All right. Number six, what's your favorite TV show to binge watch by yourself? <sighs> I have so many, so, so many, and I want to make a video on it, but the one time I did, like, film a video on my favorite TV shows to binge watch, it took me so long. I had to, like, restart my camera, like, two times, which means I was talking for almost an hour, and I swear I wasn't explaining these shows well enough to you guys. It, like, wasn't it didn't make the shows seem as amazing as they, as they are. So I could talk forever about shows that I would binge watch, but Amber F. said that she intended this, this question to be about like your guilty pleasure TV show. So my two guilty pleasure TV shows are Revenge and The Real World. Um, Revenge I've been obsessed with since last year in college. Um, I got obsessed. I watched like all the seasons that they had on Netflix and now I watch it like like semi with the airings. Like I don't watch it when it's on TV but I like have it on on demand and stuff. So I just caught up with the most recent episodes yesterday of Revenge. It's the best like modern day soap opera ever. Like I love it so much. It's so ridiculous and insane and like just trying to explain the plot to people. Like it takes literally ages because there's so many little storylines and like everything intertwines and like you can't leave anything out. So I just love it. It's so addictive for me to watch and it's like there's something crazy that happens every single episode. So I can't stop with revenge. And recently, 
because of my friend Alyssa, she got me into the real world. And this season is real world skeletons. And when I was a kid, I used to watch MTV a lot. And so I would watch real world here and there, but like, I don't know, I just never really was into it. Like I wasn't obsessed with it, but I'm obsessed with this real world skeletons, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so invested. I hate Tony. I love Sylvia and Violetta. Like I am just so obsessed and I don't even understand why like I guess I do because I always like the the real housewives shows but they got like way too insane for me um but now this real world show is like sucking me in and I just love it and I also love Snooki and Jay Wow. Oh, they are so freaking hilarious and adorable and I love their little families and them together so I guess all three of those shows Jay Wow, like Snooki and Jay Wow, the real world skeletons and Revenge are my guilty pleasure TV shows. Oh, I'm just so, so obsessed. So I love those three, but I am still intending on doing a binge watching video. Um, I just need to like get my act together and be able to explain shows without spending so much time. So the last question is, what is your favorite movie to watch by yourself? And I love movies. They are, like one of my favorite things to buy after makeup, skincare, shoes, then come movies, DVDs. And I'm gonna show you my DVD binder. If I can lift it, oh! I don't know how many of you guys watched my DVD collection. Um, I'm obsessed with DVDs. I have them all alphabetized in my thing and this is like my pride and joy like I love my makeup collection but my DVD collection is something <laughs> I am ridiculously proud of and I love it and these like movies you can share with people like you can say oh I have this like amazing DVD collection like you can pick a movie we can watch like makeup is so personal and like you can't really like share your makeup and not a lot of people have that same passion but movies so many people share the love for them so I love this DVD binder it's taken me so long to collect this many and I continue to collect them um, but it's hard for me to pick what movies I love to watch by myself because so many of these movies I have watched by myself I used to when Netflix like first was you got a DVD in the mail I watched so many movies in like such a short amount of time because I would constantly be getting like a new a new DVD like every week and um, I just loved it so I've watched so many movies I have so many favorites like it's ridiculous how many favorites I have but um two of my favorite movies to watch by myself are two of my favorites from childhood and um, I just love watching them by myself because it just reminds me like of growing up and I can just enjoy that time kind of like bonding with myself in a weird way. Um, so my two favorites are The Parent Trap with Lilo. I love this movie. I could watch it every week for the rest of my life and I would be so happy. I know like the entire like soundtrack. If I hear a song from this movie out in public, I can like envision the exact scene and it's just such an amazing movie about love and family and like sisterhood and everything. I just love this movie and I know that Lindsay Lohan kind of went crazy, but this just reminds me of my childhood and how like pure she used to be and it just is wonderful. I love, love The Parent Trap and then my other favorite movie, if I can find it quickly, um, I'm not sure how many of you guys watched this movie, but Harriet the Spy is my all-time favorite, favorite movie from my childhood. When I was growing up, all I wanted to be was either a teacher or a spy. I loved Harriet. I called her Harriet. Harriet the Spy. I don't know why, like, could I not speak? But um, Harriet the Spy, it was an amazing Nickelodeon movie with Michelle Trachtenberg as the main character. It just is so fun, but so serious at the same time, like, about friendship and about, like, your passion and family and growing up in general. And 
I just love to rewatch it basically every year because it teaches me something about myself now and I don't think a lot of movies like kid movies do that um but this movie it just holds such a special place in my heart and it just makes me want to be a spy every single time I watch it and I know that that's silly but I just love it so much and um either of these movies I would really recommend to watch as an adult again if you grew up around the same time that I did in the 90s um, or if you have kids both of those movies are so wonderful um, Harriet the Spy is more like serious and kind of about like bullying a little bit um, so if you have a kid going through that um, that might be a good movie to show them and watch with them and talk about it um, but the parent trap is Okay, you guys, so my camera totally cut me off when I was gushing about the parent trap. <laughs> um, but you basically heard me talk about it, all the things that I had to say about it. Anyhow, so um, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really liked doing this video and I had so much fun sharing different things about myself and a little more personal things and I really like to talk about that kind of stuff and like hear more about you guys as well so if you haven't done this tag yet I would really love to hear your answers to it um if you're like me and you don't really do tags a lot I think this might be a good one to do it's really fun to hear people's answers so um even if you don't make videos leave your answers down below if you have like anything to say about any of the questions because I don't know I just love learning about different things about people so I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know again what you think of my hair there's not really much I can do about it if you hate it, um, but you'll just have to deal with staring at me for it, with it for a while. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that it is not snowing and not a blizzard where you live. It's supposed to snow tonight and I'm worried about working and driving home and stuff, but um, we will survive hopefully. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it and I will see you soon. Bye.